Ward, Montecito residents are being told to cut back on their water use immediately. The situation there is dire, and there are no easy solutions during this drought. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live. And John, what happens next? Well, you know, in Montecito, it's one of the wealthiest communities in the nation, but even residents there know they can't pay to make the skies rain. They have a serious water emergency, and they're urgently trying to come up with solutions. Montecito is known for big mansions, rolling green lawns, fancy landscaping, and now a community that could be out of water in July if something doesn't change. Without the easy solution, rain, deep cutbacks are necessary. Some residents tell me they're doing their share and are not the problem. We just remodeled our house so we have everything very energy efficient and low water and low voltage, everything, but I'm shocked to hear that they're saying they're going to be out of water. One resident called out his neighbor when water was gushing down the street. You know, I had a big discussion with somebody in our neighborhood, you know, the spring that was broken down and nobody fixed this stuff. You know, they go on vacation as a huge lake there. For what? You know, the people have to be better educated. All they have to do is look at their normally flowing creeks and see the trickle-down effect of the drought. If there was any benefit to the weak storms that came through recently is that people with lawns and gardens won't have to water for a few days. But this is one of Montecito's biggest creeks off of San Ysidro Road. It should be gushing this time of year. But it's only about two feet wide and two inches deep. But I really think that you need to address that the elephant in the room, and that is how do you actually get people to reduce water use? At a standing room only water district meeting, a 30% immediate conservation plan was discussed, plus penalties for excessive users. This board is absolutely trying to take the best rational approach and do it in the most fair ways. And the, and the part about people overusing, believe me, there will be a methodology for them too. And if they are watering their very large lawns, the best way is occasionally and at night. And all the new rules and ordinances that are going to be on the books in Montecito will be posted on their website. In Santa Barbara, John Palminteri, News Channel 3.